What is going on, YouTube? I'm Chalktopus, and we're back with more of the uh, Dragon Ball Super card game. And the game is actually coming out real soon. If you haven't seen my last video, um, in my last video, Bandai actually sent me a couple of test decks, which I kind of have here. There are uh, some half decks that I did an unboxing, and I kind of talked about how the game is played. So if you want to see that video, I'll leave it in the uh, description below. Um, Today, the actual card game is actually being released sometime in July, but they're selling it early at Anime Expo. And um, I'll leave more information also to the, the card game and the website, the official website, where you can, I guess, get more information to purchase in the uh, description. But I had a friend uh, who is attending Anime Expo this weekend, and he hooked me up with one of these bad boys. Uh, I actually had it shipped relatively quick because I wanted to unbox it. Okay. So I haven't opened it yet, but we're going to open it right now. Um, the box is a little dented, but that's okay because it's not really um, a... The box doesn't seem too collectible. I'm actually more concerned with what's inside, so let's open this up. Um, I'll try not to destroy it too much. Oh, there we go. That was actually pretty easy. So I think we can just... Um, how can I do this without absolutely destroying it? There's like a little flap here. Maybe we can do it that way. All right, so let's do that. All right, so open. Okay. So, all right, I didn't completely mutilate the box, but taking a look at the box, the box is actually really nice. Um, you have the Super Saiyan Blue Goku art on the front. That's actually the same as the uh, the, the starter or the, uh, the featured card. Now, this is a starter deck, similar to if you played Pokemon, you know, back in the 90s. Remember the... I mean, they still sell them now, but... I'm looking at this like the Machamp deck that you could buy, like the OG deck in a store, which basically had everything you needed in it. Okay, so let's slide it out. Looks like it's only in this uh, this little plastic container. What else do we have in here? Okay, so on the back of the box, let's see right now, it looks like there are, um, there are some cards and they're numbered. So let's see. They're all leader and battle cards, or, or these are, okay, these are the contents, so just giving you the, the rundown of the contents, let's get rid of that box. Um, this is the rules that I went over in the last video, so I'm not going to do that again. And it looks like this might be our playmat, so, um, I didn't have one of these in the last video, but it kind of tells you that you have different areas to place cards, so let's open this up. Let's put it down. Hopefully you can see that. So you have your energy area, you have your combo area, and your battle area. And then you have your leader card. So in your energy area, that's where you put your energy cards. Now anything is energy in this game. Um, then you have your combo area, which is when you're using your battle card plus your leader. Put them in the combo area to deal damage. Um, then, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, the game is not too complicated. Uh, I need to find a friend to play it with. I think I just need to find friends in general. So let's... Can I fold this back up? I always hate unfolding these things because I never know how to refold them. We'll worry about that later. Okay, and now what we really care about, let's look at the cards. Um, so they're shrink-wrapped in this little plastic thing. So let's open that. Let's pop these open if I can. Is there a little tab? Usually there's like a little tab that you can just like slide across the side and it'll... I can't do this. This, this is horrible. All right, so boom, we got the cards open. Only took about a minute. So let's go through some of these. Let's uh, let's take a look and see what we got. So hopefully you can see these. So here's our leader card. That's the card on this is really nice. Um, look at that. So let's see. We have Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Son Goku, the Soul Striker. Um, permanent during your turn, if you have five or more energy cards, this gains plus 5,000 power. So, this is, and then you have, on the back, you have your Super Saiyan God Goku, which I have in the last video. Um, we have just base form Goku that evolves into this, and then you flip it over, and you awaken your cards, basically. So that's, that's pretty cool. Next, wow, this is really nice. Look at the card art on these. Jita, Prince of Speed. So he's not only the Prince of Saiyans, he's the Prince of Speed, too. So this is just a battle card, it looks like. So this, uh, this doesn't awaken into anything. This is just another character card. We have God Rush Son Goku, and we have a couple of these. So it looks like you can use multiple of these. So there's four, and I know you're not allowed to have more than four of each card in a deck, 
So this is probably following that rule. Super Saiyan 3, Son Goku, Maximum Energy. Now, I, I could break down the cards in another video. If that's something you do want to see, let me know in the comments. Um, if you want me to go more in depth about the game, but this is Rapid Spirit uh, Ball Son Goku. A lot of Goku and Vegeta cards. So this is Prince of Speed, the same thing, only it's not hollow. Kind Saiyan. Three, four. These are really nice. Mighty Striker. I think I have some of these in the, uh, the starter deck. Son Goten. Silient Vegeta. Trunks. And it looks like a lot of the card arts are, you know, drawn, you know, they're, they might be original art, anime style, but uh, there's, you know, like looking at this one, the leader, you have like this CGI. So there's two different types of uh, card arts here. We have Bulma, God Tempter. I don't know if that's the words I would have chosen to describe Bulma. Energy Boost Beerus. That's actually really cool. Whis, the resting attendant. A couple of those. Taunting Piccolo. Guardian Northkai. Okay, we have uh, we have Manaka here, encouraging presence. Weiss's uh, coercion. So these aren't battle cards; these are what are called extra cards. So they're kind of like items, if I had to guess. So uh, that's everything. You know, not there's some really nice cards in here. Now this is a starter deck, so they are releasing boosters. I want to try and get my hands on some booster cards because I would love to do some more unboxings and kind of talk about these, but. You know, these are these are really cool, and I want to try playing the game. I need to. Um, I have I have some half decks here, which I can kind of play with a friend um, and kind of try it out. But you know, if you want to see more and you want to you want me to go more into depth of the game and the rules, um, check out the last video. But you know, obviously, I'd be down to talk more about the game. Um, if I had to kind of compare it to something, where's my leader card? This is really cool. If I had to compare it to something, I would say it's kind of like Modern Magic, whereas this is kind of like your Planeswalker, um, and then you have, like, these are all your... I mean, technically, these are your mana cards. They're your artifact and spell cards, and they're also your creatures, because you have to play... You have to play any of these cards... As energy so like this number four it cast uh, you have to use four energy to kind of cast it and then it has specific energy types so very similar to magic the gathering only I think this game kind of explores a more uh, a more risk reward to the game than magic I mean then again I haven't played it yet so I'm just this is off first impressions uh, being that you have to use any card so like you have to use item cards, or you have to use character cards as actual energy, as opposed to having, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Having uh, dedicated mana. So uh, I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a cool mechanic that um, hasn't been explored in too many card games. I know Pokemon's not like that because you have energy cards. In Magic, you have mana cards. But here, you kind of have to use other characters and items to, to cast things. But... Um, I'm excited to uh, to try this game out, but, you know, hopefully this game lasts, I don't know if you remember from, like, the 90s, there was a Dragon Ball trading card game um, that was played, and the card art was not as nice as this, and definitely it was, like, bad translation. I don't remember who made it. Um, I, I do have some of the cards still laying around, so I'll see if I can find them, but this seems more legitimate. This is made by Bandai, um, and I'll leave more information in the description if it's something that you're interested in but uh let me know in the comments if you want to see more are you getting the game you know did you uh pre-order the game you know let me know if you've heard of it if you haven't hopefully maybe I can introduce you to it thanks for watching my video guys if you like it consider hitting that thumbs up button please um every thumbs up does help my content it lets me know what you like this way i can do more of it um if you're new here Please hit the sub button and subscribe to my channel because we've got more Dragon Ball stuff on the way. You know, between cards and Dokkan and uh, 
you know, we're really unloading on Dragon Ball content, and we got some good Pokemon content on the way. So if those are your two interests, you know, then uh, hopefully I'm your guy. Um, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. You can find me on social media. I'm, I think a mosquito bit me. <laughs> I, you can find me on social media or in my Discord channel. Those are also in the description. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.